It's time to bet it all, it's time to settle the score A champion, me from the start Was born with it, see I do it from the heart It's time to go get it, it's time to tear them apart It's time to come with it, divide dumb from the smart Weak from the strong, great from elite I'm from the bottom man, see I'm straight out of them streets Where we all fight to eat Where we all fight for peace Some fight for dance, some fight to live yeah. This is my only hope, so yeah. And I ain't hearing no, and I ain't taking no feet I'm about to be king of the streets They say it's easy being me, man, what you talking about? People doubt me, praying I don't make it Can't pay it, no mind, stay focused, I gotta take it Problems stress you out, stay focused, you gotta shake it You focus all you got, so you focus, don't let them break it Tonight's the big fight, crowd yelling my name Lights, camera, action, the lord of fame huh. This is why I came, this is why I'm here This is why I train Now to say my name, I walk around the ring, the bell go huh. The passion, the love of it I am who I am just because of it Ain't hearing no, I ain't taking defeat Salute me, the new king of the streets, what? I don't really care what you say, I run the streets Cause I'm from the streets I'm in the bottom of my life See if you even like the taste. Who knows? You might hate them. Yeah. But what if it's the best thing I've ever had? In one. That's all right. It's on me. My treat. Thanks, man. But you know what? That reminds me. Take a look at that bulletin board. Some guy put a new post this afternoon. I thought you might be interested. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Just someone looking for a couple of guys to work on a truck. Who knows? Might be a few bucks for an honest day's work. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to try something new. Sometimes I think it's better I don't know how good it tastes. Man is the old reality. <laughs> That's called denial. Night out. Hey, hey. Yay! How are you, kiddo? Good. Yeah? Shannon, how's school? Midterms next week. Oh. <laughs> You're right, Miss 4.0. I know you'll do it again. I hope so. <laughs> Thanks for watching Jessie tonight. I appreciate it. It's an easy job, and she's a lot of fun. She loves you, and that means a lot. I'm a little short tonight. Can I get you next week? Yeah, no, that's cool. I get it. Thank you. Bye, Jessie. Bye, Shannon. See you tomorrow. Appreciate it.
فاهم؟ Expect you till later, Greg. Oh, you want to hear what the press boys had to say about last night's fight? What was supposed to be an easy victory for Greg, the Sterling kid, turned into a surprise defeat at the hands of newcomer Dorian Manta in last night's Peter fight. Sterling seemed to struggle from the first bell all the way through what was an uncharacteristically short and decidedly one-sided fight, returning to his home camp with an unexpected and humiliating loss. Now, without a careful plan for his next two fights. Sterling could easily remove himself from the running for the next Ultimate Fighter competition feeder coming in a few weeks. One loss and you count me out, keep dreaming. It's not the loss of one fight that's the problem, Greg. All I'm saying is, maybe you've been a little distracted as well. So where are you headed off to this time? Vegas, for a few days to recover. You're not coming with us today? Greg, you haven't seen him in 18 months. Hey, at least you've got a... I got a what? I got a nut. Yeah, babe. I'm done here. Let's go. Bye, Coach Ozzy. Hey. I'm out of here. Have fun today. We have plans in Vegas. Greg, come on. Please, not today. Look, I'm sure there's a lot to catch up on, so why don't you just give me the Cliff Notes version on Sunday when I get back? No, Greg, he's still our father. Don't bother, I've already tried. Good to see you, brother. I'm worried about marriage, you bastard. <laughs> I got you this. It's beautiful, Jazzy. I figured since it doesn't require a lot of attention, it'd be easy for you to take care of. Hey, I deserve that. Jazzy, I'm really Just sorry. Just save it. Damn it. I missed you, Dad. I missed you too, baby girl. <laughs> I missed you too. Greg? Something came up. Yeah, I get it. Well, wow. it's my baby girl, okay? All right. Let's get out of here, guys, for the change of mind and keep you another night. Could use a nice cold brew. James, been a long time. How are you? Good to see you, Al. You got my favorite beer? Down the aisle. God bless you. 18 months since I had a sip of one of these. Anything else? Yeah, a bottle of Jamison and a pack of Reds. You got it. You want anything, sweetie? No, I think you got plenty. You don't forget the six just bag this. Okay. My friend. What's the damage? 32 50. 
Put on my tab. You got it. Hey, please, 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 allow me. Consider this a uh, welcome home present to celebrate your return. Oh, and this is your daughter. She has more fight than your son. Perhaps she should be in the ring. Excuse me? We take her home. We'll let her work off some of her debt that her father owes. Yeah. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Maybe there have been some sort of misunderstanding. Давай, Виктор. Ладно, ладно, ладно. No misunderstanding, old man. And none of your concern. Hey, baby. Everything okay? You guys have a problem with my girl? This is uh, not your fight. Wow. I say, my girl. My fight. Be straight with me, Jane. Tonight in the store, those two Russians, part of the reason you got locked up, aren't they? How bad is it? Not good. I was gonna lose this place. And everything I built. Me, a single dad dealing with two kids who lost their mother. And all I wanted to do was give them stability and a shot at a future. And I wasn't about to let that dream go down the crapper too. I made a mistake. But I paid for it. This is my gym. Those are my kids. Oh, well, maybe by blood, but certainly not by heart. Your kids needed you and you weren't here. Damn your idealistic plan to save this gym and all of your stupid decisions. The end result was, when they needed you the most, you were gone. I was the one here holding all this together. I kept the lights on and the doors open, not you. Which makes me wonder, why in the hell would you go and gamble it all away in the first place? Why did you go to them, James? After all our years of friendship, after everything you and I have been through, why didn't you just come to me? You know I would have helped. Come on, Ozzy. I'm already in debt to you more than I could ever repay you. What's done is done. No. See, Jim, done isn't the word I'd use if they're still expecting you to pay up. So I'm going to say it again. Whatever you got yourself into, you figure it out. But not in here. See, in here belongs to them. Don't you dare screw this up with Greg and Jazzy James. Feel free to spend the night on the couch. Oh, don't light that cigarette. Don't you burn it down this place on top of everything else. Thank you.
Yeah. Hey, I'm looking for Reno Street. Who's looking? My name is Ozzy. I was at the liquor mart the other night. What do you want? Uh, you drop your dog tag. <clears throat> How you find me? Well, when you drop this, I uh, googled your name, and well, you know it's pretty easy to find people these days. Thanks. You fight. I mean, I saw you fight. Not bad. Look, I'm managing train fighters at the Sterling Gym. Heard of it? You know, I'm usually on top of the up-and-comers, and judging by the way you moved the other night, you got serious potential. I'm just surprised no one else has scooped you up yet. Yeah, well, growing up in a military family, move around a lot. You heard of the Sterling kid? Yeah, I've seen a few his fights. Yeah, he trains at the gym with me. Tell you what, why don't you come down to the gym, check it out, meet Greg. My niece that was at the liquor mart with me, I'm sure she'd love to say thanks. Yeah? I don't usually have people fight my fights for me. I mean, there was a time I'd be right there with you, back to back, slug for slug with. You. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Those who can't do anymore, teach. You're talented. Let me teach you. You know, thanks, man. Um, I gotta get up early. I got a job interview, so. Hey, you know, I'm looking for someone to help me down at the gym. Keep the place clean, assist with the day-to-day. -day. I can pay you 15 bucks an hour. Plus, you can train for free. Think about it. You should do it. Sorry, Ma. Did we wake you? Hmm. This gym, this coach, this is a real opportunity for you, isn't it? All right, give me a kiss for good luck. Mm. I feel lucky already. Better make it two just in case. <laughs> All right, remember, you wait for Shannon to walk you home? Okay. All right, go get smart. Pretty, pretty girl. It'd be a shame to have accident at elementary school. Or you could just get in the car, your choice. Smart. Friendly gym owner? 
They teach dance class? No. You think you're funny? <clears throat> I find your cowboy bravado. Problem. You see, you have given me dilemma. How's that? You put your nose into something that did not concern you. Problem in store is between my good friend James and me. Not you. Now your cowboy antics has taken away two of my top fighters. Top fighters? Nice, street trash. They say every dog has his day. And today is your day, street dog. Today we find out whether yesterday was truly skill or if you just got lucky. Thanks, but I'll pass. Yet, you will step into that ring and we will find out what you're really made of. I'm not your dog. I don't fight for you. You do now. Or I send these gentlemen to visit your drug addict mother with your head in cardboard box. And then they bring your sweet little sister to me. And I sell her to highest bidder. And also, like your war hero father, huh? shot down in prime in filthy streets of Iraq. Streets too is tragic. It's between you and me. Leave my family out of this. Not possible. You see, I too am family man. Anatole is not only one of my best fighters, he is also my brother. He's your choice. Two minutes. Starting now, Sleepdog. So, this is more than just good luck, eh, Street Dog? Huh? Or even, I won, you leave my family alone. Uh, it's impressive, but uh, we are hardly even. No, that's not what you said. No, I said if you survive for two minutes, I'll let you keep your head. This is our deal. You have cost me two fighters. I now have two fights and no fighters. You will step in. And you will take their place. If you win, I will leave your family alone. And if I lose? Anatoly will cut off your hands. <laughs> Be ready to fight! Win. All you need to know is when I snap my fingers, you come like a dog. Do you understand? That is our deal.
Nilo. Hey, Jazzy. Hey, Ozzy. How are you? I'm great. Testing the soil acidity and measures today. Uh, when am I going to get some samples so I can do my own quality control? We should be harvesting some vegetables later this week. You know, but I could use some help with some of the heavy lifting, shoveling the soil. Yeah, that sounds like young man's work. I'll get some of our hotheads to come over and uh, blow off some extra steam. Sounds good. What's he doing here? Oh, you got your experiments. I've got mine. Ozzy. <laughs> Hey there. Hi. Listen, I never got to thank you for the other night. I'm sure you could have handled yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Jasmine. Raymo. It's nice to meet you. Ah, uh, well, I gotta get some work done. But have fun in there. Okay. See you around? Yeah. Yeah, please, Ozzy. Hi. You came? Yeah. Didn't think I was going to see you. It's been a couple of days. OK, so on busy days, you'll be in charge of the morning stuff. It's uh, cleaning the mats and turning on the lights, checking the temperature and folding and stocking towels and anything else that need to be done. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get started. Dante, come here. I want you to meet someone. Meet your new sparring partner, Remo. Come straight. Inferno. Like, Dante's Inferno? Just know I bring the heat. Well, he got his ass burned his last fight. <laughs> All right, ladies, enough chatter and more training. Let's go. Piece of cake though, right? Well, it gets easier and then we make it hard again. <laughs> Listen, an advance on your salary. I mean, most fighters I know can use the cash. Are you sure? Are you coming back tomorrow? Yeah. Then yeah. Thanks, coach. Mm -hmm. Hey, so, uh, coach, mm -hmm. I uh, watch my sister on some days and I bring her to school on others. You think I could bring her here if I have her, or would that be...? Well, I think the first one raised in office turned out fine. Night, boys. Good night. <laughs> what? Watch yourself. I always do. You got a ride, or are you taking a bus? Neither. I'll see you tomorrow, coach. will last only so long with you, James. I have not forgotten what you owe, and I would imagine that neither have you. You are good for you. Are you? My colleagues beginning to ask me why we're letting it go so long with you owing us so much money. It's bad for business. I have said, trust me, trust James, he will pay. <laughs> Don't make me a liar, James. Right. You pay one week. Do you understand? Get out of my sight. Sail, sail, 
Watch out, then you. Here we go. Hey, I, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know anybody was gonna... You're a Sterling kid, right? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, Coach Oz hired me to work here part-time and... Well, you already know who I am. Which means you also know that this is my dad's gym. Which also makes it mine. Street. Got it. Yeah. Drop your shoulders, not your hands. Come on, circle, move. Check your hands, Greg. Oh. All right, 30 second break. Come on. Greg. Come here. Stay tight, okay? But don't be afraid to let him go. You're gonna have a reach advantage over this next guy, but he's a wrestler. So make him stand and wear him out on his feet, okay? And try to remember to keep the range on the angle and fire after you move, all right? Let's go. So you like that? Yo. Yo, towel boy. What? What's your name again? Remo. Remo Street. <laughs> Remo? Like really that's like really your name? That's what I said. <laughs> Dude, come on. Are you gonna train or tease the towel boy? Hey, I'm helping out here. Okay. I'm just trying to give our new hired hand some valuable advice. Because the help shouldn't be I banging the owner's daughter. My sister. Is that right? Great. Way out of line. I'm just calling her like I see you, coach. Hey, I'm calling her like I see it. If you get back in the training mode or you hit the shower. If you want to gossip, do that on your own time. Oops. I missed. Hey, hey. You got one more towel to pick up. Hey, Reno. You missed another one. What the hell are y'all doing? Just quit being an asshole and put some clothes on. Good one, good one. Let's go, ladies. Stand around with your hands in your pockets. Yeah, 25 is 1300 bucks. Yeah, that's the whole they make. You guys, I just got off the phone with Mr. Bloomberg from the UCLA Medical Board. The, the grandpa? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, they went over my entire grant application this morning and. They loved it? Well, of yes. course they loved it. It's brilliant. Oh. That's wonderful. Honey, Thank you're you. brilliant. <laughs> I mean, I won't know if I got it until a week or so, but they're recommending me for the full grant, so. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Reno, what I tell you about I bang my sister? Well, what, man? You jealous she's getting more attention than you? What the hell did you just say to me? Huh? Come on, dude. Come on. Well, last night when you dropped your towel, at first I thought it was just a dick move. But now I'm starting to wonder. Yo, street, bro. Relax, man. Chill. Was that an invitation for me? You jealous of Jasmine, Greg? Wish I'd look at you like that. Greg, come on, come on, dude. Greg, come on, come on, dude. Come on, get in here, let's go, son. Get in here right now, come on. You want some? let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's what unlikely you got? that I'll hear anything before Wednesday. I think it's, oh, Ozzy, Ozzy. Knock it off! 
fighting. Oh, you want to fight? I got to train with the towel boy now. There we go. Sparring partner is oh, we'll see it. It's your fault, so yes. You really messed something up, man. What the hell? That's a mix up with combo shots, high and low. And don't forget the rest on the background. All right, let's do it. This is your call, Ozzy. Okay, you better put out another ad for a towel boy after this fight. He ain't gonna survive this, man. All right, enough, enough, enough. Hit the showers, both. I got you tomorrow. Just so you know, until Chad gets better, let's try this farm partner. Look, about you and Greg, I gotta be honest. Greg have not fought the way he did today in months. And it's fighting him a little flat. I think what Greg's been missing though is heart. He knows the techniques, but... So, you're saying his hatred towards me is making him a better fighter? Amazingly enough, yeah. <laughs> well, glad I'm good for something. Hell, if I knew that's all it took, I would've had you in here a month ago. But of course, it's not just a one-way street, though. It has made you a better fighter, too. I'll see you tomorrow, hothead. Get some rest. Hi, right, coach. You guys have really got to get a less conspicuous car. Ding, ding, street dog. Time to fight. Greg through some pad drills and five, so get the kick pads and hop in the ring, okay? Okay. Anything solid in the gym to hit today? Okay, boys, play time's over. Street. My office. See you tomorrow, towel boy. Go home. Why? You're slow today. It's like you're not on your game. No, come on, come on, coach. I'm good. Oh, look, it's not a punishment. You're here every day drilling and training. Just get some rest, and I'll see you tomorrow. And bring your A game. Okay. my thesis project, but now I'm hoping to turn it into a career path. Homeopathic medicine and less conventional disease prevention and cures. <laughs> That's incredible. It's all for school? Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on my doctorate. In fact, I presented to the UCLA Medical Board this week. And? Well, they said they loved it, but I have to wait a couple days to see if I got the grant I applied for, so fingers crossed for good luck and all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. You know what? I have something for that. Here, sit down.
Here, let me see your hand. What is that? Uh, Alan. It's a garden. That's what you do? Well, I study, research. I work locally at a health clinic treating cancer patients with less conventional medicines. You know, the exciting life of a super nerd. So this is your little secret getaway, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like to think of it as my sanctuary. I mean, the gym is great and all, don't get me wrong. And I am so grateful for all that it's done for my family, but oh my God, sometimes I need to get away from all that testosterone, you know? <laughs> <sighs> How long did this take? Uh, well actually, my mom started it, back when she and my dad first found at the gym. One of my very first memories is picking strawberries with her back here. So I guess it's, it's kind of like, even though she's gone, uh, it feels like a part of her is still here. Okay, what are you doing right when you get inside? I'm gonna make the green tea with dandelion extract. Then I'm gonna soak the asparagus overnight and then blend it in the morning. Preparing juice for lunch and leafy grains for dinner. And? And no more dairy. Good. Now don't expect miracles right away, but all of this is really gonna help. I really do appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> Good night. Thanks for the ride. Good night. Slow down. Rehabilitation time, not re-injury time. Got it, Coach. Good job, Dylan. Hey. Chores first, little boy. Enough. Please. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, won't you cut him a little slack? What, you going soft on him too? No, I'm just saying. The harder on him you are, the more Jasmine's gonna wanna be nice to him. Yeah, well, why don't you keep your opinions to yourself? All right, well, here's one opinion I'm not keeping to myself. Stop being a dick. Greg, I got a big fight coming up in a few weeks, and my old bone's getting tired of lugging all this crap by myself. Mind giving me a hand, help me out? I mean, size. it's time you get a little bit of ringside experience under your belt. I mean, sparring is fine, but there's nothing like the real deal. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks, Coach. What the hell are you trying to do to me, Ozzy? What? What do you mean, what? Hey, handsome. You headed home? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Gotta go get ready for this date. 
Go with this little cutie. <laughs> what a coincidence. I also have a hot date tonight. What? <laughs> Ladies, I'm out of here, kiddo. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. You look so handsome. Thanks, Mom. Hey, I'm proud of you, too. Thank you. Finish your homework? Okay. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Don't wait up, okay? Ding, ding. Good. Good street dog. Victor, быстрее, давай уже. Опоздаем скоро. Давай, давай сюда. Йо! Виктор, послушай. Jazz, something's come up. <laughs> oh, Jazz is uh, Jasmine. That's your girlfriend, James's daughter. Yeah, now give my phone. Hey, hey. You fight, then you get phone. Or maybe I keep it. Call Jasmine myself. <laughs> ah! Yuri. Please, man, I, I, I can't do this tonight. I, any other night I'll fight for you, just not tonight. Yes, they told me. Well, too bad. Are you going in here and you win this fight, sweet dog? And our deal will be finished. <laughs> That's that old beer. You want to explain? I got into a fight. Oh, please tell me it was a bar fight and no charges were pressed. Oh my God. That's true. You have any idea what underground fighting can do to us, to this gym? You're an asshole, man. I got this huge fight coming up and you're out starting your own stupid little fight club? Come on, that's enough, Greg. Street, you leave me no choice. You jeopardize Greg's career and you could ruin the reputation of this gym. Clean out your locker. Coach Ozzie. You're fired. It's the right call.
Well, I just don't understand why you guys didn't tell me if you knew about this. I mean, I was gonna find out at some point. It, honey, it just happened. I, when? When did it just happen? I, I just didn't know how to tell you. I didn't want to upset you. Well, yeah, I'm upset anyway, so. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I should have come to you right away. I'm sorry. Wow, you look rough. Uh, bad day, I had to fire someone. You've been working pretty hard lately. It's on your mind, James. Just realizing how much you've done for this place, how much I owe you. Hey, it's your birthday this weekend. Let me take you out for dinner. Say thanks for all your hard work. What do you say? Friday night. We can bring Greg, Jazzy, make it our first family dinner. Come on, James, you don't have to do that. Let me do this. We'll lock up early, clear the place out, go blow off some steam like we used to. Yeah, it does sound nice. I'll set it up. You mean the kids, Friday night. Sounds great. Hey, James. Yeah. It's good to have you back, man. It's good to be back. Surprise! Oh, Yay! I thought you said it was just gonna be family. This is our family. <laughs> Listen up, everybody. I wanna say something about the man who we all love. Who, if it were without, there would be nothing. <laughs> People say doing the same thing over and over again exactly the same way, and expecting a different result is a true definition of insanity. But if you're a fighter, that's just called training. <laughs> yep. Of course, you have to be a little insane to take on a motley group like this. <laughs> <laughs> to Coach Oz, craziest bastard I know, you're the super glue that holds us together. Happy birthday, champ. Love you. Bring it in. Yep. Happy yeah. birthday, champ. Yeah. yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Hey, where's Nikki? Uh, it didn't work out. Spending too much time at the gym, not enough time with her, so. Well, good riddance. <laughs> oh, damn it. What's wrong? You know what, I forgot Ozzy's present over at the gym. Can you hold down the coat here if I run over and grab it? Yeah, 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 I got it. Okay, cool, I'll be right back. Great. How you holding up there, Coach Oz, huh? You know, huh? I should be mad at you for this. I know you and your sister were involved in all of this. You gotta thank Daddy, mastermind the whole thing. Yeah? What can I say? I love a good surprise. <laughs> hey, where's Jazz? Uh, she forgot Ozzy's present. She went back to the gym. Come on, honey, answer the phone. What's up, coach? It's James, it's James. Um, you gotta get the gym. Wait, what? The Russians. They're gonna burn the gym down and jazz is in. I'm on the way. What did he do?
lucky to be alive, but he's out of the fight. I'm sorry, coach. It's not my fault. How was it your fault? The guys from the liquor store. After I broke his wrist, they came after me. They made me fight. They said if I didn't, they'd kill my family. I, I never thought they'd come after the gym. That's because they weren't after you. James set this up. Jasmine's father? Yeah, he's in deep with them. He owes them a lot of money. And I guess he figured that since the place burned down, he could collect the insurance money and pay them off. Where is he now? What the hell? I didn't have a choice. I owe Yuri. He was going to kill me. He's going to kill all of you. No one's supposed to be in there. The place was supposed to burn down. I was gonna pay him some money and just buy some time, figure it out. No, you've done it this time, James. We go way back. You can't do this to me. They're gonna kill me! Then you better pray there fast. Yuri. Ah, street, my good friend, coming. We had a deal, Yuri, and I lived up to it. You said if I fight for you, you won't hurt my family. I am a man of my word, and you are right. Our business is done. <laughs> Our business, however, is far from complete. Who do you think keep him from being somebody's bitch in jail? Huh? It is not so cheap to keep somebody as pretty as our James here safe, huh? <laughs> but you see, I see it as being an investment protecting my own interest. Because he owes me so much money from before. What good is he to me dead? Huh? So, I offer him protection in prison at very good price. He gets out. What does he do? Does he come to see me? No. <laughs> he gambles. And he loses! So, I have to remind him what is due. You have good insurance policy on Jim, no? Yeah, well, no matter. However much it is for, it is probably exactly the same amount as our friend here owes me. Oh, wait a minute, that's over three quarters of a million dollars. Yeah, that's probably right. When check arrive, I come and collect. Huh? <laughs> and if there is a problem, I hurt you. And you know what I will do to you, don't you, James? Now getting out of here is bleeding all over my carpet. I have a very busy evening. I'll fight you for it. What? I'll fight you for it. Treat 
what are you doing? I have nothing if I lose everyone. Your best against me. Winner takes all. Come on, businessman. What do you have to lose if I win? Now, if I win, all debts are wiped clean. I may go with what I owe you now. Now it's your turn. All or nothing. All or nothing. Deal. Business is business. And tonight, business was very good. You made me much money. <laughs> See them? They bet against you. Easy money, they thought, huh? And you? <laughs> First rule, street dog. Never bet against the house. I knew you would win. You had everything to lose. Motivation. Powerful weapon. You take care, Srito. Dos vidanya. Is it over? For you it is. So it's forgiven, right? Get out of our lives, James. If I hear of you coming near the gym or contacting Greg or Jasmine ever again, I'm not calling the police. I'm calling him.
So what are they gonna do with him? A little relocation program. It'll be fine. I would never do anything to James that would hurt Greg and Jasmine. Come on, man, let's get out of here. She's alive because of you. And I wouldn't be here either if you hadn't pulled me out. Coach told me about what you did, about why and what happened. I'm sorry. I should have let you explain more, you know. You didn't deserve that, I'm sorry. I understand. Good. This hurts the most, though. More than my leg or the gym, I mean, we can fix those, but she's too good for this to happen, for what my dad did. And she trusted people, she sees the good in people, you know? Been throwing punches my whole life, and the first time I want to punch something, I can't. <laughs> Not gonna be able to fight, man. We're gonna lose everything. I got an idea. What, what, you wanna fight and take my spot? Everything okay in here? Yeah. Coach, what's the rules on substitution for the fight? Oh. Hey, these guys are bad, man. Are you sure you're ready? Only if we do it my way. I'm a mess, I know, but I also stick around I do what I am told to be okay but Then I met you, now I leave it all behind Cause now I know why you should live a life I can stay, I'll break free Cause I know nothing else than pain and misery now I found my path from everything they wanted me to be. That's how I found you. This is my fight, and I had to see it through. I know you like me, got me home again. Three, keep it tight, keep it tight. Yeah. Cause now I'm here, yeah. and after all that we've been through. Back down, I won't let you go. I can stay, I'll break free. Cause I know nothing else in pain and misery. And now I've found my well, path. I got it, I got it. God, it's amazing. I think tonight was the first night I really realized just how much you've been doing for us all. It's for me and for Jesse. How much you've sacrificed. When your daddy died, I used it as an excuse just to, to check out. I needed to feel numb. And it didn't matter what I had to do to get there as long as I didn't feel the pain. Really great girl. Can you promise me something in life? 
You'll never take any moment for granted. Not the good or the bad. Because you never know how many of those moments that you're gonna have together. Make every moment like it's your last. Bob? What are you doing here? Just five years, and that about sums it up. The Sterling kid has not exactly lived up to his Sterling name now, has he? <laughs> now that's another statement, Bill. Sterling, yeah, right. <laughs> He's lucky he can't fight Manta for the rematch, Tron. Amen, I agree. He's humiliated all over again. And and who's fighting in this place again? Uh, hang on a second. It's, uh, Remo Street. Never heard of the guy. Street, Street. Another joke. Who the hell is this guy, anyway? Who, who makes these decisions, Who though? knows? Who knows? Not good. No. It's not good, Ozzy. Our sponsorship was with the Sterling Kid, not Remo Street. I don't know what you're thinking about. He doesn't have a laughing chance against Manta. You saw what he did to Greg. Bob, this kid, he has got it. He just has to... Has to win? Otherwise you lose credibility. The gym, you'll be through. We've been doing business for a long time. So I'm going to hope for the best. I just hate to see you go out this way. Who was that? Bob Olson. Bob Olson from Olson Advertising? Mm. Yeah. What the hell? I thought Remo taking my place in the fight would cover us. That's not enough. He has to win. You don't think he can win? Do you? It has been a long, tough road with more than a few detours. But you know what? We're here now. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Come on, bring it in. Street on three. Let's go, baby. Come on. One, two, three, street! Light him up, street. Come on, street, listen. No matter what you do, you fight from your heart. Jesse told me to give you those. <laughs> but this one is for me. It's mad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's fight, we have the challenge.
is cocky and overconfident. You got it. You'll take this guy. Just remember everything that we worked on. Okay? You got it. You got more heart than any fighter I've ever met. Go out there and take this. For the family. I was afraid to come back here. I figured with all the time spent in the hospital that everything would have been forgotten and all my research would have died out. Yeah, I couldn't let all your work go to waste, so Jesse and I came here every day after school to water it. Take care of it, give us some TLC. Well, I am impressed. <laughs> what is this? It's a surprise. Open it. I figured something as important as a grant should be hung up in flame. I love it. 